Hello everyone, it's Cress, aka Taka, and it is time for a thrift store finds and rummage sales video for the week ending in July 18th, which is the day I'm filming. Okay, so I actually did fairly well, not as well as I could as several of the sales. I was very disappointed in their products when I will start with my figurines. So this was one of the last things I bought today. And I saw this figurine practically a little bit different paint job at another rummage sale earlier on Friday. And they wanted like four or five dollars for it. And the leg had been broken off completely and reattached. I'm like, that's a bit more damage than I'm willing to go for. If it was for my own collection, maybe. But because I wanted to actually sell it and ship it, there's no way that would any repair would survive shipping. So I found this one today. And again, any uh, dog pet related. Uh, thing I find uh, goes a portion of the sale goes to you pause and then if it's more of a farm animal it goes to a uh, sunrise animal sanctuary so I paid two dollars for this the uh, it is technically marked but I have no idea what it's supposed to say as the ink seems to have run over the years but it's a very pretty dog and it's a bigger dog to compare it to like a normal size figuring, found this dog at the same sale for a dollar. And it's still got its sticker on it. It says hand painted art mark original. Kind of like a collie lassie dog here. So that's also a collie, but with the black. But again, no chips or repairs. So I will probably sell those. All right, we're going to go back over here and put them on the bed. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little out of it. It's been a hot week, and then today there was a huge thunderstorm, and it's all humid. Uh, so I guess I'll just show the third dog I found. This I got at St. Vinny's in Spring for 50 cents. It's probably marked Homko under here. Yes, it's a Homko. Uh, got that, or one of those. It's got the house on it. But just a cute little Dalmatian pup in the eyes told me, take me home. Similarly, I saw this duck doctor and it reminded me of the Aflac duck so much. I wonder if this was the inspiration for the Aflac duck because these figures, I, I got three of them. This was originally 10 bucks in 1986. Uh, they're marked 1986 Malaysia EIC. So I got a Dr. Duck a blacksmith duck and there's no chips or cracks or anything and then a newsboy extra extra so paid 50 cents for each of those and then this i got earlier in the week at the goodwill and i had a 20 percent off so this was probably like 80 cents but it's just a cute little set of owls sitting on a branch figurine. I don't see any markings or anything. It's fairly well painted. And then these I thought I could rescue for a dime at a rummage sale. One has an, a real cork bottom to it. And this one they've replaced the cork with a plastic one. So I do think they're actually older because of this cork one in here. But they're just really cute owls, and for a dime, I can't help but make a profit on that. All right, and then my non-animal figurine that I bought. I think this was originally marked two. I sent them, so I got like 40 cents off of that. So I was really shocked to see all their fingers and hands and all the ribbon on her dress and his cape is perfectly intact. So I'll... Definitely try to sell it. It's not really my taste, but I was just so shocked all the ribbons were there. It is marked Bone China Lace, and it says, Made in Japan, hand-painted Cruz or Chase. It's a very, very crazy font under there, but... I was really shocked it was still together. Uh, then I guess toy 
my big toy purchase for the weekend for myself. I'm going to keep Arlo here. This is Arlo from The Good Dinosaur. I paid a whole quarter. What was really funny is the kid really wanted him holding something in his mouth. So there was a little Ziploc with a little tiny figurine in it, in it like a little jelly thing. It didn't look like it was in good shape, but apparently he wanted to send him my food. Um, even though Arlo is a vegetarian, if I remember correctly. Only watched The Good Dinosaur once. But that's going to be for me. <laughs> and then my big find, I did not bring the whole thing in here because Dad just found it a spot to live, is I found a um, dehydrator. Um, we used to have one when I was a kid, and I guess we must have given it away a long time ago. I've been interested in learning how to dehydrate. And it look, it has the book which is so important because it gives you your time schedule for everything. But what's really funny is this one is not the model I got. The model I got is a Sunbeam, but they put a Mr. Coffee one in. And I only discovered that because when I went to look at the late parts in here, they had four trays and a fruit roll-up tray, which doesn't have like lines in it. Whereas the one I got looks exactly the same, but has five trays that all look alike, where I just have to put wax paper on top of it if I want to make fruit roll up. But I thought that was funny that they put directions with it, but it wasn't actually directions for that model. <laughs> but it still gives me a bunch of times in that to work with. And trying to get to my big St. Vinny's fine. It's not a huge deal, but now the other week I got, like two weeks ago, I got those paper wall hangers that were Bambi. Well, I found someone had painted these beautiful wood wall hangings for Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So this one I paid up for, it was 75 cents, and then every one was 50 cents. Um, and I will try to sell these, but you know, they are heavy, thick wood, so... I'm hoping she fit, I can fit them into the medium flat rate box because they're so thin. It'll just judge how I wrap them and put them together. But so you have Snow White and Doc. And then we have one dwarf. Oh, there's Dopey. Dopey looks great. That's bashful. Try to put them paint to paint so that the uh, metal hangings, so they put really good quality hangings. Oh look, I love this. It's him playing the lute. And we have uh, someone blowing out the candle, probably sleepy to go to bed. <laughs> and we have Grumpy, obviously. And then another one playing an instrument. And right now I'm too tired to actually remember all their names. My brain hurts. But the whole set was there. So three seventy five dollars for the whole set. Good quality painting. Really well hand painted job too. Alright. Then we'll do the books I found. <sighs> there are not many books here. Just five. So I found this Velveteen Rabbit. And it barely looks open. Like, that's how far it bends open. Like, no one actually read the book. Just enough to open it and see it really was that. So this is from Avon Books. And it says, March 1975 was the first printing, and this is the fifth printing. But it was probably 47 cents for me. And I, I have an idea if I find a Velveteen Rabbit, it would be really cute to put the book with it. Um... Plus, I only remember ever watching the show version, not reading it, so. And then I'm starting a cultural diversity lot. So this one's from 2012. It's scholastic in its golden domes and silver lanterns, a Muslim book of colors. And this one, like you can see where they have mosaics in it and rugs, so it kind of touches on their how much their culture likes to use colors. So, then, wait, I only have four books here. This one looked just fun. 
with the dragon on it. It's called the Dream Eater. And it was given to a school at one point. It's my room program. I found it at uh, St. Benny's probably. Uh, this is 1978. And the dragon on the cover just shows how good the artwork is in here. So, And then the last book I got was a copy of Stuart Little. And what's really cool about this is it does look like it's an original 1945 copy of Stuart Little. No dust jacket, but that'd be worth more than the dime I paid. All right, and this is my one piece of other artwork for the week other than Snow White. I paid 45, 47 cents for it because I had 20% off. But it's these two cute bunnies playing around in a bathroom. And it says hair, H-A-R-E, in a spiral wrap. Uh, Sue Rupp, 1999, and it's number 500 out of 1,000. So it's the exact middle of the run. But for less than a dollar, an original art print. Reach! I do have fragiles on this side. I'm just going to get the floor done first. All right, so I found two puzzles this week because I'm enjoying doing them and they are selling. So this one I picked up today for 75 cents. It's 750 pieces. Um, I'm hoping this doesn't mean they're missing a piece, like that they found everything. Um, I've been really lucky. I've only, out of the last year, bought two puzzles that ended up being missing a piece. And they were two kids' puzzles, in fact, where it was like 50 pieces and they were missing one piece. Um, but this looks like a cool, like, general, inside of a general store kind of feel. It's got gas pumps on it. You can see a, an old clock above the door. You've got, like, five different hand pushes up around the door here. Got a Pepsi cooler over here, so I thought that was cool. And then this I paid a dollar for at uh, St. Vinny's and is a Ravensburg puzzle for Dr. Seuss, and it's like the graffiti wall of Dr. Seuss. So you've got the Grinch, the Cat in the Hat, Thing One and Two, Horton. So. Way on the floor. Okay. Random pop. Uh, this is marked two, so I got 40 cents off. Is industrial Velcro and strength tape. I figured that could always come in handy. And then this is my weird free box find in the original box. It is a filter, video filter lens kit. And it is complete. It has all three lenses inside in good condition. I'm not sure anyone ever used it. But I figured for free, I'd rescue it, list it online, and see if I could find someone who has a 37mm camera that they want to look color lens for. You know, because I'm sure some filmmaker somewhere would be like, oh yes, I'd like to have the original feel for my film or something. Alright, box, don't cooperate. I'll just put you on the floor. Um, I found some stained glass. Well, this first one I think is does feel somewhere between plastic and glass. This was 50 cents, a couple doves of heart behind them and rainbow color wings. Then this cool little like tea kettle and a loaf of bread. And then this doesn't even have a hanger on it to hang by. So I think I'm gonna set it up in my bar as a pink elephant for my bar, because I can't resist a pink elephant for some reason. All right, breakables. There was only one, but I decided it was marked 80 cents and I get 20% off. So I saved one star glow bowl. Um, I might just use it as a trinket bowl for right now, um, but I didn't want to leave the poor thing there. And then I got four of these BC Anteater uh, juice glasses. Um, so I probably got one almost for free. The 
most of them are in really good shape, but this is probably the one they were actually drinking of. And so the white has come off of the ant eater a little on this one. But I'm sure they'll still sell. This is my breakable find of the week for me. Um, last year I bought like a syrup container for my honey and it's really been frustrating because the honey, if you can't get the lid off for some reason, doesn't want to get poured out once it gets to a certain level. So this is a, a gravity honey jar where you fill the honey up and when you release the lever, the little thing lifts and the honey goes down over what you're eating and you undo it and there's even a lovely drip tray. So this is for my Sandy and I did find this for $2 minus my 20% and uh, it's actually the glass version and not the plastic. So um, the plastic version is like $18. So uh found a little hazel atlas creamer for a buck um this is black drizzle pattern i uh, didn't find the sugar bowl but it's kind of funny because the uh, last time i found hazel atlas i found a sugar bowl but not the creamer but wasn't this pattern so i'm just always shocked when i find hazel atlas out uh one of my more unique items uh is this little pottery vase and it, I thought it was just a sampler, but apparently this company, Nemadji, N-E-M-A-D-J-I, um, does a lot of smaller vases along with bigger ones, but it's got this lovely glazed inside, uh, smooth, so it could definitely hold water. But the outside isn't a shiny glaze, it's a more matte glaze, and it's got these mix of colors. So for 50 cents, I figured that would sell. My other Salvation Army find of the week. A little cup you put on the wall in your kitchen so when you're cooking you can put your rings off in there. And it's an M.A. Hadley ring one. So I will try to sell that because I don't generally wear jewelry myself. But I think anyone who likes to cook and doesn't like getting their rings dirty and always thinks they're going to lose their rings, this is a great invention. All right, then I got my last three things are mugs. So this needs a little bit of cleaning. There's a little schmutz on the back. I paid uh, probably 47, 48 cents with my discount. A little uh, friend bear uh, face mug. All my other Care Bear mugs have sold. So uh, I got this cute little uh, cat on a pumpkin mug. And probably my favorite mug find of the week, which was marked a dollar. So I think this was at um, Goodwill. Uh, I think I paid eight cents. It, it's not marked Odegary, so it would probably be from the 70s, but it definitely has that Odegary feel. These embossed foxes, they're so cute. And I love how even the back, they do a little detailing. But it's that embossed feeling, so. So that is my haul for the week. Not a bad week, but still, I had to drive, like, almost 70 miles yesterday. Well, Dad drove. And almost 60 miles today to even get to all those thrift stores or rummage sales. I mean, I went to Goodwill earlier in the week with Rita after I dropped off packages for mailing. But And what's the most ironic thing in my week for me, I've had all these good sales in my Etsy shop for three weeks. So I've had like a sale a day. So I thought I'd pay it forward and put like 90% of my store at least 10% off. And not one sale in five freaking days. The sale ends tonight and no one's bought a thing. I'm like, I know it notifies me when my things on my favorites list go on sale. So apparently everyone ignored their notices this week. <laughs> but... Thanks for watching. My links for my Etsy and eBay will be down below.